So now that we know what each of the units within the Celador family, DTC, does, let's outline a few scenarios and see where we could use Celador within them. Picture for yourselves a university lecture hall. And of course, the most important thing of any university lecture hall, well, is the wonderful lecturer himself. Now with Celador, we can light them in a very natural looking white colored light. The next obvious thing to do here is to provide some color on stage. So I'm going to put a nice colorful wash on that white wall behind him. With Celador's lensing options, we can accomplish this quite easily. And now that we have a color changing unit washing that wall, we could theme the wall's color to the speaker at the podium for the day. Perhaps one day we have a cardiologist come in and the next day we have special guest lecturer Lou Ferrigna. Or on a typical day, we'll just have a common blue wash. Now I can add that same blue color as a top wash over the stage to add to the stage's vibrance. And all I need to do now is light the subject that the lecturer is talking about and voila, I have an energy efficient lighting system saving more than 75% of the energy that an incandescent rig would otherwise consume, and I now have the versatility of being whatever color I want on stage. Moving away from the university, let's picture a hotel lobby where we're coloring a wall behind a check-in counter. And next to the check-in counter is a sculpture. And across the way from the check-in counter hangs on the wall what some call a brilliant, what others call an almost radical piece of modern artwork. Now say the design calls out for there to be seasonal themes to the lighting scheme, for the colors of the lights to change to represent the different seasons throughout the year. With Celador, you have the versatility to be spring, summer, autumn, even winter. And if the design calls out for there to be a subtle dynamicness to it, you can place just a very little effect on the lights and have them change ever so slightly throughout the day. Now let's step into the world of the theater. Picture for a moment a night scene. The scene takes place at a department store. I, of course, am the department store manager. And this is my favorite mannequin. It's a stormy night with lightning. I am stuck after hours without my umbrella. So I must wait for the storm to pass. And as I wait for the storm to pass, I begin to talk to my favorite mannequin. Well, because in the world of this play, I'm a little creepy. As I talk to her, the world just seems to slip away. Don't I always buy the most expensive dresses and put them on you? Don't I put you at the best window display right up at the front of the store? Don't I treat you better than any of the other mannequins? Don't I? I've upset you. This can't be. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 